So yeah, I'm doing another so awkward video. Uh, I don't know why I'm just obsessed with the show way too much. So recently, well, I say recently, it was actually like a month ago, but recently the so awkward files came out. So I've basically made predictions on this sheet of what we can expect from them in series 5. Obviously the actual series 5 trailer hasn't come out yet but when it does I'll definitely update my predictions. If you guys don't know what So Awkward is, it's basically a sitcom on CBBC of these sick teenagers going through life. You've got the stereotypes like the nerds, the happy-go-lucky ones and like the normal ones that are just cool. Anyway, so without any further ado guys, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first episode is Lily and Rob. Quite a lot goes on in this episode and I have to bring up a theory. So in series 1 and 2, Ma Lily has Matt as her boyfriend. Well, I say boyfriend, I don't know if they actually were together. In the third and fourth series, Lily has had Rob as her boyfriend. So I'm wondering if Matt will come back if she'll get a third boyfriend or if she'll just stay with Rob so I guess we'll have to wait and see but she's probably gonna stay with Rob also in this episode Lily mentions her ex-boyfriend Matt Furnish quite a lot and Rob isn't that happy about it as you can see then Lily puts her passion as sports and lies about her leadership qualities and then this happens you have given me a great idea you are the perfect choice for the six ball not ball captain so in episode two it's lily and jazz jazz is still a crazy bouncy food lover which is good no change there I'm definitely looking forward to more jazz selford specials in series five wonder what they'll lead to but because Lily kind of took over Jazz's form, Mr. Malone kind of got a different view of Jazz. Get out of yourself, Jazz. Might be an idea to spend a bit less time with Lily. The list of 38 examples of why she is such a mature and sophisticated role model suggests you've become way too reliant on her. Next is episode 3, so Ollie and Rob. In this episode, Mr. Malone kind of tries to tell Rob what to put as the answers and what to think, which is wrong. To one of the questions, Rob answered that the education system is at its best when it's teaching us valuable lessons that relate to our lives in the 21st century. It can also entertain, enrich and move us. He then admitted that Lily helped him, a he wrote that for him. So he's still lazy and immature, but that's fine. Something funny that happened at the end of that episode was that Ollie actually lost the even further maths club elections to Destiny Fretwell in year 11. So... Episode 4 is Martha and Jazz, and Martha definitely looks more grown up what with her hair put back and all her makeup on but other than that there's still no change in her she's still unemotional and a perfectionist there's quite a funny moment in it too which i will show you now not as if my oxbridge place will depend on whether or not i can hide fine Now that I just find hilarious. <laughs> so the fifth episode is Martha and Rufus. So Rufus basically feels like a failure. Then Martha tries to help, but it makes him come off as egotistical. So episode six is Ollie and Rufus. Ollie tries to change the questions, but Rufus isn't too happy about that. Then there's this line in it that just literally makes me crack up every single time I hear it. I 
I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it, Rufus. To be honest, I'm kind of worried for the sixth form version of Ru Rufus because of something that happens at the end of that episode. Martha and Ollie will discuss that. Probably will now and then. They discuss everything. Anyway guys, I hope you liked that video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!